If you believe that we have to keep global warming below a ceiling of two degrees Celsius, then the implication is that we can't afford to burn the vast majority of fossil fuels. Now this is something that is just not recognised in the capital markets. The issue we have with climate change, there's no free lunch. There's only three possible outcomes. Um, the first, what I sometimes refer to as the Goldilocks scenario, we get a clear policy and regulatory signal by Paris 2015 that allows an orderly transition, a managed deflation of the carbon bubble, if you will. The other is the nightmare scenario. We never get a clear policy and regulatory signal. The world um, slides into three, four, five degrees or more um, of warming. That would be catastrophic for business. You would not be able to operate businesses um, or investments in such a world. Um, and the one that I fear is the most likely, um, based on human nature, is we leave action to the last possible minute. Um, events happen, they change the political environment, governments regulate overnight and you effectively burst the carbon bubble, causing massive um, financial chaos in the markets. We're financial experts, people have come out of the financial markets. We want to make carbon investment risk visible in the capital markets today. As investors, what we're seeking to do day in, day out is make comparisons between different companies, really trying to unpick what are their companies worth, what are the risks. So increasingly you get this feeling of fragility across the fossil fuel sector that can only help us with the task of achieving the greenhouse gas emission reductions we need to have a stable climate. And I think what this has done is given people a real ability to understand the problem, to understand it very symbolically as well as practically, to see the evidence. And I would like to show you what finally told me exactly what we have to do. This. This is the absolute best graph I have ever seen. You get a prize for communication, you get a prize for strategic thinking, you get a prize for devel developing the message and the task for every single one of the constituencies. And I would really like to, to thank you and, uh, and Carbon Tracker for really fantastic work that you're doing, not only in the analysis, but really bringing it down into where it's really going to make a difference. Um, investors in the financial markets, they don't want to talk about theoreticals. They want to talk about real risks, real opportunities and real investments today. I think the work that the Carbon Tracker Initiative is doing will allow them to do that in the context of climate risk.